What is up everybody and today we are going to the Holocaust Museum in Houston. It's located in the downtown Houston area and yeah we're basically just going there and we're gonna see what's going on in the Holocaust Museum. It's meant to uh, remember the history of all the members that died like the Jews and other victims that died in the Holocaust. Um, so yeah we'll be going to that museum. And the Tampa. Holocaust Museum is technically dedicating themselves to remembering all the people who died in the uh, like massacre. So yeah. Yeah, so we'll be going there, can't wait to reach there, and we'll get to some more later. So guys, we're finally here at the Holocaust Museum as you can see, and now we'll be going inside to check it out. So guys, we're here at the museum, and some uh, parts we can't um, record because of copyright and material, but we'll try to record the best as we can. Wow, this is cool. So guys, now we're on the second floor. It's because after we walked in, they said we can't record anything on the bottom floor. It was just basically the history of everything. And now we're on the second floor. Uh, we can just look around and record now. So, yeah. And this is second floor. This is one of the galleries that we are walking into. It's so cool. A bunch of pictures all around us. It's cool how everything's symmetrical. So even. I like the lights too. And I'll briefly just go through all of these pictures. Like pass by. So what you all see right now is part of the museum, of the Holocaust Museum, and these are just artifacts and other images and pictures to remember the Holocaust. As you can see right there is a picture of a Torah which the Jewish people believed in. And yeah, it's basically facts and also information about the actual survivors of the Holocaust which uh, told these information and all the other things. And now I'm going to be telling a brief summary of what the Holocaust actually is. So the Holocaust was a systematic state-sponsored persecution and the murder of over 6 million Jews by the Nazi regime and all of its allies and collaborators. The Nazis came to power in Germany in January of 1933. They believed that the Germans belonged to a special race that was superior to all of the others. This meant that they uh, thought that their race was the most powerfulest, best, and didn't want any other race to influence them. And then they also claimed that the Jews belonged to a race that was inferior and a threat to the so-called German racial community. This uh, showed that the Germans believed that Jews were a low standard because they were, uh, they were considered as an equal standard to the Germans at the time, which the Germans and the Nazis did not like. And in 1933, the Jewish population of Europe stood at over 9 million people. And this is mainly the European Jews lived which lived in the country uh, with the nazis in germany 
and they would occupy or influence during World War II. By the end of the war in uh, 1945, the Germans and their allies and collaborators killed nearly two out of all the three European Jews as a part of their final solution to wipe out the Jewish populations in that area. And there's also many survivors which uh, are shown in the museum, uh, like their history behind what was going on at the time, and also some other um, images and artifacts to show that. And also, the Nazis considered Jews to be the inferior race that posed the deadliest menace to the German society. Soon after they came to power, the Nazis adopted measures to ex exclude all the Jews from German economic, social, and cultural life, and to pressure them to emigrate. They, the Germans did not like the Jews and wanted them to leave their area, and just wanted them to just go and, or immigrate, which is what started this whole Holocaust movement by the Nazis. And if you didn't know already, the Nazis were ruled by a main power called Adolf Hitler, and also the World War II provided Nazi officials with the opportunity to pursue the murder of all the Jews in Europe. And this is basically the summary, a brief summary of what the Holocaust was. And you can see all around is some um, of the actual museum. There's some survivors and their stories, and there's a boat right there, um, escape boats, and also like bringing in stuff, and which the Jewish could use and basically all of this is just information behind the whole Holocaust thing which we were basically reading and understanding and just wanted to put in one quick video so y'all can see it as well and also the trains there um, they used to kill genocide uh, which is basically like a poison or acid uh, which they're basically breathing in all of that which is very harmful and they just die from um, that it's basically like a poisoning and that's basically what this whole thing was about and also the survivors told a lot about this as well so we're just gonna basically conclude it like that and this is just a brief overview of what the holocaust was guys um, we're gonna end off the video here it was an amazing experience that we had here at the holocaust museum we experienced many things and saw many tragic events and really took it seriously. Yeah, and also the first floor had all the attractions which we included in the video. Some we couldn't record because of copyright issues, but we still have some of the evidence and images of that. So we're going to end it off here. Hope you all enjoyed and see you all later.